In this video I'm going to talk you through what you actually see when you connect a spreadsheet to BetAngel. And um, you can see here we're looking at uh, an individual sheet and one that's pointed at a football match. And I'm going to explain now all of the detail in front of us. So the leftmost section on the spreadsheet uh, contains market data. So this is data that you can see on the Betfair screen and through BetAngel, but it's replicated within the spreadsheet. And the reason for this is so that you can use that data to perform many functions or to gather information about the market. So you can see here we've got the current back prices, the current lay prices, last traded price, the amount of money traded on that runner at that particular time, what the runner name is, the selection name, your current P&L, what would happen if you closed your current position at the current price, and what would happen if you wanted to green or red up those values at that particular point in your trade. You've also got the amount of money that's been matched when it was last updated, the number of selections in the market, how many unmatched bets you've got, um, balance, the number of transactions you've done in the last hour, when the event starts, and a countdown timer to that event. You also have hidden up here a cell that will tell you if the market is suspended or in play as well. Um, so it's got all of the functions that you need on there to A, get data from the market, and B, act upon it, or collate it, or use uh, within the market. Um, there's lots you can do, but we'll show you in another video how to extract data and how to manipulate data. This, is, this video is just going to be uh, to discuss what you're actually looking at. If we scroll to the right, this is all I've done here, you can see I'm moving to the left here and I'm scrolling to the right, away from the display of information. We come to loads of cells marked in green and all sorts of confusing commands up here. And this is the area where you enter commands into the market. So if you wanted to place a back bet, for example, um, it's as simple as going into here. Because we're in Excel, I'm going to have to put um, some text in here. And if I do back, I can press Enter here. And what this says to BetAngel via the spreadsheet, BetAngel is monitoring this spreadsheet, um, it's basically saying, I want you to place a back order. So BetAngel will pick this up and place a back order. Incidentally, I should say at this point, before you mess around with the spreadsheets, obviously they're quite powerful and can do all sorts of things, um, log in in practice mode because that means that you can mess around to your heart's content, understand the way that it works and what it's doing before you unleash it with real money. So definitely log in via practice mode so that you can get used to exactly what's going on and, and why and how things happen. So anyway, if I go in here, I could type in a word back, I could type in lay, and basically what that does is that populates that cell with the word back. So it, at the moment it's saying on this particular line, which is Manchester City, I want you to place a back order. Now it's done nothing at the moment because obviously um, we haven't told it anything else like the odds, the stake, or the current um, information about what we want to do. So we need to nominate odds and we could type in odds if we wanted to of 10 or whatever we wanted to or we could take the value from the data that's been displayed on the left. So if I press the equals sign and then do equals J9 and by J9 I mean uh, column J row 9 and if I do equals J9 and press enter you can see there it says odds 350. So if these odds change now because this data is linked dynamically to the market. So all of this data up here will be updating all of the time that you're connected to BetAngel. Um, the, the spreadsheet's connected to BetAngel. So this it, it, here, I haven't typed in 3.5, I've just typed in equals J9. I'm saying whatever the current odds are at J9, take that value. And then finally, to complete our bet, I need to enter a stake. So on this case, I'm just going to say I'm going to use £10. But again, you could use a formula. You could come up with some sort of formula uh, to generate your stake if you wanted to. So if I now press enter, you can see immediately BetAngel says, oh, you know, we want to back at 3.5 with £10. And it said placing, 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 placed. So here you can see it confirms what we've done. We've placed a £10 back bet on Manchester City at 3.5, entirely unmatched. And if we go back to BetAngel, there is the bet there. We didn't have to click on any screen to do that. We've done it through the spreadsheet. So you can see here 
that we've placed that bet and bet angel has come back and it said oh it didn't match any money at any odds the bet reference number was this it was done at this time and here are your unmatched bets within this market on this particular run alone so you've got one unmatched bet for £10 at average odds of three and a half. So you can see how the screen's broken down. What the screen um, is doing is displaying information here that you can use. The center area here is issuing commands. So any information we enter here says, OK, I want you to do the following. And then on the far right, you've got the reporting area, which basically says all about what is being matched where, how much time match bets there are, and so on. So you've got all the information that you need there to be able to do clever things. And we've tried to keep it relatively simple, but add enough depth into it to be able to do uh, more complex things. So, for example, rather than just saying back or lay at certain odds, I've already said you can change the odds and stake to be variables, or you can do more complicated things. Um, on the spreadsheet as well. So you can see we've got a whole list of commands up here saying back um, offset one with greening. So we're replicating the global commands that you see on Bet Angel. Um, true and you can elaborate the command from there and that will automatically um, inherit all of those characteristics. So you're not limited just saying back or lay in the same way that you're using features like offsetting, stops, fill or kill, um, batches, uh, trailing stops. They can all be entered through Excel and Betangel will pick up that command and then execute that on your behalf. We also have things like global commands as well. So if you wanted to, you can say, OK, actually, I don't want any of those bets, so I'm going to cancel all those bets and you can see there it's reported back to say OK. So if we go back to the Bet Angel screen you can see that that bet is gone. So there's a lot of flexibility in here. There's a lot of things that you can do. And you can also see that um, we've got commands like green all, keep all, take SP all and so on. And because you're doing this in Excel, um, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, you can actually um, make a commands conditional. So we could actually go in and say equals if countdown is lower than zero, i.e. we reached the the post time, the start time of the event, then green all else do nothing. So you can actually enter conditional commands using Excel commands and mixing it all up with the Betangel scripting and the Betangel commands that you have seen and may have used in the product itself. So if I press enter now you can see the global command cell is blank and that is because we've made it conditional. We're saying if F4 and F4 represents the countdown timer, if F4 is lower than zero, i.e. are we at the start of the event, then issue the command to green out everything in the market. Otherwise, don't do anything. Now you also see we've got status cells here and the reason we put the status cells here is so that it stops it from misfiring multiple commands one after the other. So in order to issue repeat commands you have to clear the status cells. Um, but that's something that we can discuss and go on to in, in another video. But that should give you an overview of, of basically how the spreadsheet connection works and what you're looking at when you're actually looking at the spreadsheet. In quick summary, over on the left you have information coming in from the market. In the center you have the commands that you can issue and you can script those um, as, as low level or as high level as you like, as, as complex or as simple as you wish. And then on the far right you get all of the reporting data about matched odds, unmatched bets and all of those details. So that's basically an overview of what the screen looks like and, and what each part of it does.